I was asked about what boxes I try to check off with my own training. And really it comes down to just four things. Train all of the major muscle groups, do something heavy, do something fast or athletic, and do something for your aerobic fitness. The major muscle groups can obviously be broken down more, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. Accredited organizations like the NSCA would say to train movement patterns, squat, hinge, push, pull, lunge, and to not train muscle groups. But the justification for training movement patterns is often two things. Athletes aren't bodybuilders. Training movement patterns trains coordination and neuromuscular control. But in everyday life, we're already engaged in activities that require coordination and neuromuscular control, especially if you play sports. We aren't losing that ability via training if we decide to do some so-called isolation exercises. And the second reason is just to hit all the major muscle groups anyways. And these movement patterns do a good job of this. And if you do something heavy for all these major muscle groups, all these major muscle groups are going to get stronger. They'll get stronger at the neuromuscular level and at the level of the tissue. Do something athletic and fast because I want to be athletic and fast. And I'm talking about moving your own body weight fast, not light weights fast. So jumping, sprinting, bounding, and games and sports. And then depending on what and how much sports you're participating in, aerobic fitness too. Two to three mile runs, three to five mile bike rides, some sort of steady state conditioning, and even some anaerobic threshold type conditioning. And if you don't play sports, you just train, I would put a big emphasis on the steady state and the anaerobic conditioning. But if you just check off those four boxes, something fast, something heavy, all major muscle groups and some conditioning, you're setting yourself up for long-term success. So hopefully that helps and makes sense. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.